Hi guys, I'm Dennis from Respect Studios and this is the second part from the uh, series for Unity Editor Extensions. Uh, in this part I will continue with the rename GUI and I will try to explain as much as possible for all the stuff that you need to build a, a editor window. Uh, now since we already have the static void, static method which will be called with the menu, when you, when you call the menu, we have to continue with the next method which is called void on GUI now this is a built-in function which is actually uh, executing every frame and uh, yes the while the unit editor is running it's actually every editor inside unity is running with a certain frame rate and uh, refreshing with a certain frame rate so I think the, the frame rate was uh, 100 frames per second in the editor. So everything that you do here in the on GUI is going to be executing 100 times per second, which will mean the every editor window will be refreshing with 100 times per second. Uh, so just to check again, you can type debug.log uh, looping. And if I go back here, you can see when the editor is in focus only when the editor is on focus so when it's on focus you can see that or actually when we are doing something in the editor it will be re refreshing and this is why uh, in for the on GUI uh, if you want it to be refreshing all of the times you can uh, write you, you have to write the repaint which will actually repaint the GUI all of the time and not just when it's on focus or when you're doing something so you can see that currently it's debugging all of the time uh, repaint is not necessary but I will leave it for now because when I do some updates on the UI I will see them immediately on the UI on the GUI uh, so I don't have to close it and open it every time so let's start by adding some layouts and elements now uh, there are two ways of adding content on a window one is editor GUI layout another is editor GUI the editor GUI is pretty much the same the editor GUI layout is pretty much the same as the editor GUI but it's a layout version so uh, if we check it in the docs you can see that it says auto layouted version of editor GUI which means that you can use both but with the editor GUI only you will have to uh, type explicitly the exact position of every element because they will not be auto layouted so we will most uh, of the time use editor GUI layout sometimes we will use editor GUI I will show some examples with both of them so we're going to start by a simple label field that you can see all of the things you can use here you can check them you can see them in the docs we have label field and when you open the brackets we have string the label we can have a GUI content we can have a GUI content is pretty much having more stuff than just a label we will use the we will see how this works later so for now I will add a label which will be object renamer and I will close the brackets I will go back to unity and you can see now we have object renamer and this is because I have the repaint now if I don't have the repaint and if I add another label which is for example test label and I go back to unity Oh, it's getting executed. Let's remove it. Hmm. So not every object is. Sometimes it doesn't repaint, and you have to close it and open it again. So for now, I will leave the repaint. Now, uh, because the editor GUI, the editor GUI layout are auto layouted, we can use uh, 
begin vertical and begin horizontal layouts. This way uh, we can stack the elements in uh, vertically or horizontally. So here I will type editor GUI, oops, not the editor GUI, but GUI layout that begin vertical. And every time you start begin vertical or begin horizontal layout, you have to end it. So GUI layout that end vertical. Otherwise, CNG will give you an error. And just to make the things look a little bit more, uh, a little bit better, I am opening and closing curly brackets. Uh, you don't have to do this, and uh, it's only up to you, but I'm doing it because the code looks a little bit better. Uh, you still have to end the begin and end vertical. Don't get confused by that because when you open and close curly brackets, you usually don't have to add them. So inside the begin vertical, I am going to type editor GUI layout that text field. So text field is for entering text. And uh, inside we can have a string for the text, string for the label. I will type string for the label, which will be named name. And uh, for the text I will leave it empty. So let's see how it looks like in Unity. We have a name, a text field with a name, with a label and the text. Now we can write something but when I hit enter you can see that is getting deleted. So if I return and write something, enter, it gets deleted. Now uh, this is because we need a variable that will store the information that we are writing here. But we'll get back to this soon, very soon. Uh, now when we go down we have one problem. First of all, the editor GUI layout text field is auto layouted version, so you can see that there is a lot of space between the name and the field, which which uh, it doesn't look good. So there is one uh, line which we can write here, which is called editor GUI utility, which is uh, how to say, helping help our stuff for editor GUI. Now there are a lot of stuff here, which you can, for example, you can check if Unity has the pro skin. So if the if the user is having the pro version of Unity, the width of a label, uh, you can check a lot of stuff. But we don't know want a lot of stuff we want something specific which is label width we want to adjust the label width and we are going to set it to 70 pixels and now if we go back you can see that our label is now shorter i can make it even 60 pixels for example <coughs> and that looks nice so just to make things look more uh, understandable I'm going to copy uh, comment out absolutely everything here and I will show you what happens if I type editor GUI not uh, editor GUI layout that label you, you still have the label field just that I like the editor GUI layout label field you have editor GUI that label field but when you open the brackets you have to, uh, rect so you have to type new rect, which is the, which we have to type the position uh, in x, which will be five pixels, five pixels in y, and then I will type. By the way, if you want to take the position of the window, you have to type position that width, which is the width of the window or position that height. So we take position that width, which is the width of the label field, and forty for the height of the label field. Now we have to type another editor GUI. Now when you use just editor GUI and you're positioning them with direct, there is no need to add uh, layouts. 
just because sometimes they won't work or if they work it might get confusing because you're positioning everything with array so type text field new uh, new rect 10 pixels 50 pixels position that width and uh, 30 pixels and here I will type enter yes yeah, string the text enter text so let's see how that looks in unity I have a, I have an error oh the label name okay title of the UI for example now you can see that we are having a slightly different uh, way of this still I can't write ever anything and uh, 5 5 this is 10 50 width and this is uh, the, the distance here is because the label field have 40 height so I can make it 20 you see it will go up it didn't oh so this is because of the position x y yeah this is because of the position so no uh, the stacking here is not the layout here is not automatic so what was I trying to say if if the text field if I make the text field to be 10 pixels from the top of the UI it will go above the label so you can see here you have the freedom to adjust everything by pixels but you will have to write a lot of numbers so the more the, the how to say the easiest way or the fastest way is to use the uh, editor GUI layout this way you won't need to add pixels for absolutely every element and uh, okay <coughs> now we have a name for the text field which will leave as name which is okay now we have one uh, variable here I will type uh, region variables and region now there is something important here usually if you are doing editor windows you are not exposing the variables anywhere just because you are using the variable inside the script and you can simply type private string new name okay first of all if I get that string new name and come, come down here with the editor GUI layout that text field I can type new name equals editor GUI layout that text field name which is the label and then we have the text the actual text that the field is going to show and get we have to type the new name again so we're pretty much uh, getting the name from the field and setting the name to the field if I go back to unity and I start typing something you can see now that it's staying there it doesn't get lost <coughs> if I enter play mode exit play mode it stay there now there are two problems here the first problem is that if you dock that window somewhere and you maximize and minimize the scene view everything gets, gets deleted here okay you don't keep that for these reasons we have to make that string public so uh, unity can remember what's written okay and uh, another thing is that sometimes error occurs because the string is not uh, filled so it's always a good to, to fill it even with empty just to have something inside 
this way unity won't show any errors sometimes it's throwing errors so now we have the name we can write something and uh, it will stay uh, we have to also to declare a private GUI style which will be called text styles and it will be equal to new GUI style <coughs> now there are two ways to make the GUIs look better like icons or better text and so on first way is to use the old school GUI skin not old school but it was used with the GUI before when Unity didn't have the uh, new version of the UIs so here you can make uh, elements and call them in the script which is cool we're going to see that later and the other way is to use a GUI style which you can set up inside the code now let's add one button this button will be for renaming and uh, the buttons usually work this way we're going to the GUI layout that button and the name will be rename and uh, we need to be uh, we have here GUI layout options GUI layout options can be are optional options that we can add for every GUI element so here we can type GUI layout that height and we'll make the height of 30 and our button will be uh, slightly bigger we can make width we can make you have you have uh, more than one option to add so we go lay out that width we can type it 25 and now the button will be 25 width there is it so you can have numerous uh, layout options but we'll leave just the height now the thing is that to make one button to work it's actually returning true or false so we have to type if GUI, but GUI layout that button and uh, then add what should happen when we press the button so I'm going to debug button press it and if we go back to unity and we press the button you can see that it says button press it now we're going to leave this for now here but we need another method which is void rename and uh, we uh, need to call that method when we press the button simple as that now inside the button since we want to rename an object we're going to type if selection that active object so this is actually returning the object that is currently selected inside the editor debug that log selection that active object that name and uh, else if meaning if we don't have anything selected we're going to debug that log please select an object save go back to unity and now you can see that if we don't have anything selected and click the rename we're getting please select an object if we have something selected and click rename we have the name of the object directional light if you select the camera we have the main camera okay simple as that now in the next lesson in the next lesson we're going to add the actual functionality here which will give us the ability to rename the object and to rename also an asset because it's slightly different than renaming the game object because the assets are in working in different way and i'm going to show you how exactly you can rename an asset from the code uh, thanks.